council members, my sincere gratitude to all of you for being present here. To begin with the program, I would like to call upon Raksha Sara for the invocation song.
we were given a list of topics to select. Probably uh, the topic that we selected today was the most part of it. So, in fact, there are so many topics. Uh, Swamiji would be, you know, able to bring about changes in our personality and improve our personality. Uh, it's very difficult to accommodate all the lectures probably in uh, one session. So we definitely would uh, like to have many more uh, such sessions, uh, sessions so that it is going to help us all. So at the outset, I would like to welcome Swamiji for today's uh, lecture on personality development. Uh, I could see uh, a group of uh, students who uh, you know, came up with this proposal for having uh, this today's lecture and it's really uh, very welcoming and happy thing that students are looking out for you know, such uh, personality development discourses uh, for the benefit of all their peers. So, without uh, wasting much time, uh, I would like to, you know, go ahead and listen to so that we also uh, could benefit along you all. Thank you.
he has read Mahabharata, Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Purana, and Srimad Bhagavad Purana as well. Three Puranas and one Gita, and he it gives immense spiritual knowledge to answer. Living the life of a monk since last 10 years at Iskon Ashram, he has always rendered his time for the students for the preaching of, preaching of spiritual wisdom. He has given several seminars in various colleges like RVCE, NIT Teaching, NITK Surakal, PICG Pune and BJ Medical College. He has also visited schools, colleges in Bangalore, Mysore, Mangalore, Puttur, etc. for doing value-based educational programs based on Bhagavad Gita. So students, we all here are very much blessed to seek his spiritual wisdom today and to implement it in our day-to-day -day life. Thank you so much.
stop everybody here about those words. The song that I would sing as a child still gives me the same feeling and same pleasure and peace when I sing it now. The, that's the power of devotion, that's the power of spirituality. Spirituality is beyond all the barriers of religion. Spirituality is about how it transforms your living, your perspectives, your outlook towards your relationship, outlook towards the work you do. Now, the moment of the hour for which we all have gathered here, it gives me immense pleasure. I, I, I would like to request Sri Dharani Prabhuji to enlighten us with the word of wisdom. Good morning, everybody. Are you able to hear this voice? Especially those at the end. Are you able to hear me? At the end? Okay, thank you. So, I'm very happy to be I'm very happy to be here with all of you. Here is the visiting of our dental college. And uh, such a warm welcome. Uh, the teachers, students, staff of this college, especially Mr. Sir, of this college, for encouraging such a program at this college. And he was telling us that this program is arranged by the students for the students. And uh, it is such a very uh, good beginning to see uh, all the girls and boys thinking about the two budgets. And invoking auspiciousness to thank in this wonderful place. It is a very good setting for this topic, which we are going to discuss now. So, as I do generally, I begin the session with a prayer, invoking blessings to the Lord, we'll chant some prayers, and then we'll have the session. Om Jnana Tivarandasya, Jnana Jnana Shalataya, Chakshoro Nidham Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Prachari Nirvishesha Shunyavari Vanchata Deshwari Vanchata Prachari Deshwari Vanchata Pradhidhanam Pavaditya Vaishnavi Dhyamama Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Pradhanam Shri Vasavi Gauravani Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Mukha Mita Siva Chari, Hare Krishna, Hare 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 So I have given a list of 10 topics So then uh, the volunteers told me that they preferred 3 topics and they prepared the 3 four topics to be relevant and when they said that first topic, second topic and the ninth topic, tenth topic I guess so then those are chosen and the second topic was most interesting to the students. So that's why I chose this topic which is converting stress to my stress to smile. You can see this photo here, this person is frustrated. And here is a person smiling. How many of you in your life have experienced an emotion like this? Please raise your hand. <laughs> Okay, many are raising their hands. I ask this question because it proves that this topic is a need. At some point or other in our life, we go through this where we are physically, mentally stressed. And when this stress comes, it not only affects us, it affects People around us also. It affects your friends because sometimes you shock at him. It affects your parents, you don't listen to him, listen to them. It affects the patient because you don't care for them. So the stress is something which we have to handle. And in my uh, visits to different schools and colleges, I found that doctors are the most stressed. 
especially those who are on field treating patients and they have to be available on the call anytime. Especially I was going to many medical colleges, even in Manipur, there are some students, they say, Ruji, sometimes it is too stress, stressful because I have to be in the college 12 hours, non-stop. It's called emergency duty. So we have to level with another call anytime, even in the midnight. So this can potentially cause stress in our mind, in our body. But it's also a wonderful service to the society because you are available when they are in need. As doctor, we care for others, but also we should care for ourselves. Isn't it? And when you are traveling in aeroplane, many times I travel further than before we start flying, the air hostess comes in the front and gives very important instructions, which generally people ignore. She says when there is jab, oxygen ka dabao kam hota hai, Put it to yourself first before putting on others. Because self care is more important. If you are alive, you can help others. Similarly, if we are happy, we can make others happy. If we ourselves are frustrated and stressed out like this, how can we make others happy? It's not possible. So this session is all about trying to understand what is the stress, why is it caused, what are the solutions for overcoming this stress, and also what is the philosophy behind this stress. We'll try to discuss this topic. And uh, I'll discuss some solutions based on spiritual books, like as the anchor for telling. India's unique selling product is specialized. Right? So when you think of Germany, automobiles come into your mind. Big racing cars. When you think of America, tall buildings and technology comes to your mind. So when you think of Japan, hard working people come to your mind. When you think of China, invasion. Invasion comes to our mind. <laughs> They are invading in India, yeah. right? So many things come to the mind. Cheap products and on Corona. So when people, when not Indians, when other country people think of India, what comes to their mind is spirituality, culture, tradition. Yoga. That's what comes to their mind. Nowadays it's coming. So all over the world, nowadays you see yoga is becoming famous. They show that yoga is not bound to India, it's for all people. It originated from India, but it's helping all people of all religions of all nationalities. Similarly, the Vedic wisdom, the spiritual wisdom of India is not just limited to this country, but it is applicable to all the countries. That's why right. it's on international society for Krishna consciousness. We are not limited to India, we are no. international. We are everywhere. Name a country, we are there. And people of that country are following the wisdom of this, uh, what we are teaching today, given by India. Okay, are you ready? Yes, yes sir. So before I begin, I request all the students. There is one big demon sitting in your pocket, which can cause potential distractions. So that you know, people can travel more or you can fly uh, more. And it is said that the attention span of a student nowadays is it was 12 seconds, but it is now reducing to 6 to 8 seconds post COVID. Before COVID, it was about 12 seconds attention span. You can fix on one thought, your mind on one thought for 12 seconds, but post COVID, it has even reduced further because of social media addiction and too much usage of smartphone. Because fingers are always restless, they want to touch something. 
So, and this session is going to go for one hour or more. But I am under stress. So, you are having these symptoms. You can ask this also. If you are having these symptoms, do you get sound sleep at night? No, sir. Is there anybody not getting sound sleep? Uh, some hands are rising. Okay. Last. It's not audible. Last door is at the end. Hare Krishna. Is it audible now? No? No. Last door is at the end. Last door is audible? Okay, our technician is checking. One of the students, I was in. Okay. Audible now? Okay. So, one of the students from top college, from top college, he came to me and he said, Sir, I have not slept for six days. Please do tell something. Our dinner is Vidya Mandela. I get tension, exam with him. He has exam after one week. And I was in Vijay Medical College also, I heard that students don't sleep during the exam time. Six days non-stop. Okay. Of course, that is because of exams, but here it's because of some problem. So health issues, that's why. Uh, this is also symptom of stress. If it doesn't throw the it is enough, lethargy. No enthusiasm to do any work. Even though there is all free time, other good. We have some work to do also, but there is no enthusiasm. Is it true? Please raise your hands if it is happening like this. Okay, people are shy, but they said yes. <laughs> do you get angry at small issues? Okay. Class is related to the school. Small issue. Do you get angry? You blow it out, making a mole into a Mountain. You feel headache and pain in your neck. You feel somebody should come and press my button and get relaxed. So these are some different things, and there can be many more, which are indicators of stress. What is stress? Great worry caused by a difficult situation or something that causes this condition. This Cambridge Dictionary definition of stress. Great worry caused by a difficult situation. That worry itself is stress. Stress, what causes stress? Stress is a kind of wear and tear our body and mind undergo as we attempt to cope with our continually changing environment. So the word change is very important here. Whenever there is any change, that causes some stress because we are not ready for change. Like the last two years, that is a big change, offline to online. So that caused a lot of stress for students and even to teachers. We were sitting in front of the computer for six hours, twelve hours a day, and trying to teach somebody whom you don't know whether he is listening or not. <laughs> So, it was a lot of mental stress and even the disease. As soon as somebody gets a throat infection and is sneezing, he gets stressed. <laughs> is it COVID? So, that two years was very tough. But now we have overcome that and we are happy to be together. What do you feel better? Online or offline sitting like this? Offline. Yeah, it's always better because Man is a social animal, he cannot be alone. We like to be with people, to be with friends. Like imagine if this conference is happening online and it's up from home, some, some girls are singing the song and you are sitting in a room taking some tea or coffee and listening and then there's people are at different places. It won't give that impact. And I have to ask the question, how many of you are feeling stressed? Please raise your high hands and I can it looks very boring, but here it's more blissful, more happier. Now, is stress good or bad? Is stress required? Not required. Is pressure required or not required? 
some amount is required. Yeah. Pressure in optimum quantity is required. It is good. Without pressure, you cannot cook. That's why it's pressure cooker. Once in one, one of our centers, a small youth center, and our cook was cooking. So he had kept uh, some dal in the cooker. And uh, he wanted some items. He came out of the kitchen for two minutes. And in that two minutes, he heard a big sound. Boom! And he stopped. He came inside and saw what happened. The lid of the cooker was had hit the ceiling and it was spilled everywhere. Because that release valve was not working. Something had got stuck up. And it was. And he saw the bottom part of the cooker, it had become like a football because of the pressure. So, unfortunately, nobody was in the kitchen. Nothing happened to anybody. So, if pressure is not released at a moderate time, it can cause harm to us. Similarly, optimal amount of stress is good, but when it crosses the limit, then it is bad. It has physical and emotional bad effects and also it affects others. Imagine if there are no exams, <laughs> who will study? Will anybody study if there are no exams? Instead, of course, very sincere students, even if there are no exams, they will study. But most of the students, when you get for exam as predicate. So that creates some stress and that leads to good performance. So optimal amount of stress is good, but when it crosses that limit, then it harms us and harms others as well. So today we are not going to teach you how to become free of stress. We are going to teach you how to handle stress. Because stressful situations are going to come. An intelligent person, he knows how to handle it properly without getting affected by it or affecting others. Is it clear? It is stress management session, not stress avoiding session. We can avoid it. We have to manage it. What are the effects of stress on a physical platform, emotional platform and behavioral platform? So three kinds of effects. One is headache, cranking of the teeth, become angry so it starts biting the teeth shivering of the body and fever. These are some of the physical effects on the stress. Even Arjuna was in stress in the beginning of Bhagavad Gita. Beginning of Bhagavad Gita, you will see in Kurukshetra, he was in stress. Vepatushta shrire me roma harsha shitaayate gandhi vam samsate hatta tapchai vaparita yate rasha shakno me avasthatum brahmati vachame manaha nimitani chipashyami vipuritani keshava Arjuna is telling that Krishna, I am in stress because I am seeing all this big army. We are only seven Akshavani, this Kaurav is eleven Akshavani and seeing Bhishma, Drona, Karana and all these big people in front. I am getting tension. My Gandhi or bow is slipping from my hand. My hands are getting wet. My head is reeling. These are the symptoms which Arjuna is undermining. Sometimes it happens in examination hall when a person is not studied to read the first question. Uh -huh. I don't know the answer, then what happens? Hand starts sweating, pen starts slipping, head starts reeling, and he goes blank out. Nothing is visible. Whatever he has studied, he turned that out. So Arjuna was in that situation in the beginning of Kurukhita battle. But when he heard from Krishna, Bhagavad Gita, Nasto moha smritir laktha karishye vachanantava Arjuna says, last chapter, he says, after hearing your words, Krishna, my doubts are now removed, all my doubts are removed, I will do what you are using, I will do my duty now. That's what Arjuna says. So these are some of the symptoms on bodily level. Depression, anger, anger, irritation, anxiety, these are on the emotional level and behavioral level, there is no sleeping. Ah, the two things, either eating lot or do not eat, both can happen. 
Sometimes people in stress they become fat, but some people become thin. Aisa bhi shor ki diyan karta hai, kaise nahi diyan? So it's symptom of stress and crying. Sometimes this is alone in a room. So this is three effects of stress. Now I'll see. Actually, this is from a book written by Rajeshan Das. And it's called the teacher for the converting stress to smile. So some of the topics are taken from there. So I'll list some points in the next slide. You tell me whether this item causes stress or does not cause stress. Okay? Okay. Here, beating the deadline to get thrill. There is some deadline. In one week, you have to deliver some things, some product, or you have to finish this work. Does that cause stress? Yes. 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 Correct. Extraordinary achievements. You got a first rank or you got a medal. Does it cause stress? No. How many say yes? Okay. How many say no? Others? <laughs> Others is somebody saying both. <laughs> May cause stress or not cause stress? Depends on how extraordinary is that achievement. <laughs> Generally, extraordinary achievement gives happiness, uh, satisfaction. But if it is so extraordinary that people are coming and bothering you, that please let me take a photo of you, let me take a picture of you, that causes stress. <laughs> Planning? Planning. Causes stress? Planning. When you say for planning, it causes stress. But after you plan? No. Release. Release stress. If you don't plan, it causes stress to you. If you fail to plan, then you are planning to fail. If you fail to plan, then you are planning to fail. We should make a plan. And plan making may take some mental anxiety, but if you do that, it will be peaceful. Soft drinks are going to do. You can say yes or no. Causes stress, yes? Chemicals, okay. Okay. So soft drinks, here it means Coca-Cola, Pepsi or such kind of thing. They are harmful to the body. What do you get like after this there is some juice available for you? If you take some nice herbal juice or fruit juice, it makes you really cool. Sugar cane juice. It relieves your stress. Consuming salads and juices? No. No. So you should say yes or no. Yes means positive stress, no means? Does not. Eating an hour before midnight? Yes. Yes. That's not right. It causes stress to your stomach. But it's only good time, maybe. It's a good time. Like when you eat, it's like starting the engine. So there's time for sleeping. You put there, it's kind of kind of like ambitions. Yes. Eating fast food on the roadside. No. 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 I heard that fast food is fast to cook. Fast to eat, slow to digest. Especially because it's made of refined flour, maida. Maida is a great boss and sticks to the abdomen and it doesn't have intestine and doesn't come out so fast. I would sit one hour in the bathroom and it doesn't come out on it. It causes sickness. Awareness of your capacity. Yes or no? Awareness of your capacity? No, it doesn't cause stress because you know what to do, you know what not to do. If you are not aware of your capacity, it causes stress. Moroseness from expectations. Others expect you to be something, but you are not able to meet those expectations. It causes stress. Hyperactive mind. Leadership. Yes. If you are in leadership position, you can get a 
one is in leadership position, but if he is stressed, it was stressed, huh? <laughs> then he or she calls his brother. But if a leader is good, he is like a very good leader, he knows what to do, he knows what not to do, he knows, he knows how much to expect, then he or she will not cause stress for this, he will relieve the stress for others. Right? Attachment to my opinion. Yes. 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 Because not always your opinions are correct and not always others will accept your opinion. Eating only after finishing work. Yes. Some people take a bow. Yes. I will not eat to that many. Yes. For the stress, it disturbs your body. Expectations. Yes. Yes. Organizing yes. your table, your room. No. No. Really no. stress. Sometimes people, especially the hostel rooms, are so disorganized. Socks is hanging there. One sock there, one sock here. <laughs> and books are all scattered and he is searching for a pen, he is not finding the pen and it is time for examination fully stressed because he has not managed his time and room properly. Karishma and influence If you have Karishma and influence Yes or no? No. Depends. Depends on how you handle it. Shame of being a low performer some people have infinity complex. I'm good for nothing. See, he is so intelligent, always first rank. I'm not first rank. I always come in average category. So, that shame of being low performer. Actually, perform your best. Don't compare with others. If you are 60 percent and if you get 63, be happy. Because you are better than before. Don't try to compare with somebody very high or somebody uh, it's beyond your capacity. Anuman is Anuman, Skurul is Skurul. Anuman was lifting big boulders and putting in Ram Sehu. And uh, Skurul was taking small struggles and putting in Ram Sehu. Both are doing their best. So, Lord Ram is happy. So, do best of your capacity. Undue competition. Undue competition. For this stress. Courage. No, it doesn't cause stress. So, this Activity helps you understand that what causes stress, what doesn't cause stress. So we can adapt those things which can relieve our stress. Like taking some juices and fruits at the break, trying to identify your capacity and getting courage, being organized or planning properly. So these things will help you overcome stress on the long term. Now here I present you some situations. Please tell how you will respond. Caught in a traffic jam while driving in that car. You may not have experience in this car, but please come to Bangalore yes. to experience this. <laughs> How will you react now? Stressed. Huh? You get frustrated. Okay. Irritation. What else you will do? Irritation. Irritated. Irritated. As in many people honking. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Some people start beating the feeling that I hurt out. Some people come out of the door, walk and see. They get hurt out to trust the same. They keep shouting and keep fighting. So this is a negative response. Yesterday I had an experience. My train was supposed to reach here by 9.15. I thought I'll come, I'll speak peacefully. Morning I'll do my meditation, then come for the program and do other activities. So somehow the train stopped. But not moving on. <laughs> One and a half hours staying. Just outside of Pune, I left from Pune. Staying one and a half hour, telling you. And the sun is out. Can you change the situation? Can you go and tell the driver, cut it around? <laughs> so then, because after the train started moving, after half an hour I saw outside, they were building some bridge. The big, big planes lifting some uh, pottery and putting their because of this, the train got delayed. Now, this situation was beyond my control. What is the use of shouting and yelling at others? Some situations are within your control, some situations are beyond your control. So, when some things are beyond your control, you have to just adjust yourself. 
Okay, there is another scenario. Being blamed or insulted for something. Some problem happened because of somebody and you got caught and you, people are blaming you. It happens sometimes. So, so suppose imagine they are catching you and you are there and it's all your routine. You did it, why did you do it? So much wrong will happen. How do you respond to it? How can you respond positively? You are in a difficult place. Cases are becoming more and more tough. There is also stress. There is also stress. There is also stress. That time what you have to do, you have to clarify yourself. You have to express yourself. Clarify your stand. And state the facts. State the facts. This happened. I was not here. I was there. Whatever is, whatever is your stand, you clarify it openly in front of all the people. So that can help you. So I'll release a video. I am going to show you. Please watch this video. And tell me what you learned from this. She said, I know you work so hard. You don't have much time for us. But I am so alone. <laughs> so what was that? He, this person, is so absorbed in work, even when he is sitting with friends, he doesn't know how to respond, how to be friend. He's totally lost. This world of work. So sometimes people carry the work tension to home and bring home problems to work. That is the problem. Keep your workplace, work in your workplace, keep your relationship with your home. If you mix both, there are chances of problem. So like this. He will become like a robot. Clicking, <laughs> using the hand to click. Irritability is a symptom of life of imbalance and stability is a symptom of balanced life. How to become stable? See this video. See how this person is carrying this? Yes, what do you learn from him? Stability, balance. So generally, if you carry six bricks, you lose balance. Sometimes in village, the ladies carry one pot, second pot, third pot. And they can easily walk. One pot here also. They can easily walk. And balance, because they have learned the art of balancing. But here, this person, this is incredible. I don't think anybody can do this to such a degree. This can come as practice. As you grow in life, you keep adding more responsibilities on your head. Now you are just students, most of you are students. You just have one responsibility studying. Later, you will see marriage, then children, children's education, and relatives, friends, other anxieties will come. Keep so on adding. As you grow, responsibility is growing. But if you are leading a life of balance, you will be happy. You can take more responsibility, you can do more work, at the same time, you can be peaceful. These are which we have to learn. <clears throat> so this is how the stress is created. So this technical, how stress is created in the mind. There are some simple truth senses, sight, sound, touch. We see something, we hear something, we touch something, and that is gathered by the intelligence. And then the intelligence perceives 
Suppose it is a very positive input which is coming, then what will happen? There is no stress. And if you see something very pleasing or you hear something very pleasing, there is no stress. Okay? And if there are some inputs which are coming, which are unknown or which are clearly negative, okay, you hear some blast out. Once it happened, the blast was happening, it suddenly boom, transformer, put it Everybody was scared. What is what? what is because that was unknown, it caused immediate stress. Because somebody put bomb or what? Many things can go on in the mind. So stress is generated in the mind to take corrective actions. Immediately we go run, see what is there, oh fire is there, go water, take water, put water, fire or sand and remove it. So like that we start reacting. So stress is generated in mind to take corrective action. And if corrective action is taken, then no stress. Once fire is put up, no more stress. But if it is not put up, then again stress grows. So when response comes, so where it is a stressful response or a stress-free response, if it is stressful response, if a corrective action is taken, then no stress. If not, then again stress is built up. A COVID. There is no cure for that. But then vaccine came, then stress relief. Yeah. Vaccinated. I can peacefully walk. Isn't it? Sometimes there is real threat and sometimes there is perceived threat and this perceived threat also can cause stress. For example, a person is sleeping and the dream, he dreams that he is in a forest and is eating some fruit and suddenly tiger comes. And tiger starts chasing him and he is running, 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 running. And tiger is running and is climbing the tree and tiger is climbing the tree. Suddenly he falls from the tree and gets out. And he is seeing all this. Body is wet because of sweat. There is no tiger, he is in the room. What is this? Perceived. It is perceived threat, but the effect of perceived threat is also as good as real threat. Effect is the same. Sweating is there, fear is there, heart is palpitating, everything is same. So, sometimes we perceive threat. You come to the college in the morning and you and your friend is there and the friend doesn't smile at you. Looking at somewhere else. <laughs> so then what happens in the mind? Or sometimes teacher doesn't smile at you. Maybe teacher is angry, he will fail me in the exam. <laughs> That's happening. It happens sometimes, is it? Misunderstanding hmm? or perceptions. So that perception also is dangerous because it spoils the relationship. And this is called perceived threat. Why if teacher doesn't smile? Maybe he is busy with some work and something is going on in the mind, some meetings are there, something is there. There, are, there may be something else going on in the mind. And your friend also, maybe father has called it home chapter, he is upset, he didn't smile at you. So, try to understand others' situation also. Don't make immediate judgments. One mistake we do is, we make immediate judgments. That is wrong. So, little bit of self-awareness will help us to understand. See, our body has got three layers. First is physical, second is mental, and third is spiritual. The first layer is gross body, earth, water, fire, air, ether. We see this body, we can touch this body. That is called physical body. And then there is subtle body, which is called mind, intelligence, and ego. It is sukshma sharira. Parvet is sthula sharira. Vadavid is sukshma sharira. I am coming to Bhagavad Gita here. The second chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Sukshma Sharira, Stula Sharira, Mind Intimacy Ego. Take a simple example, your mobile hardware and the software, Android software. Hardware you can touch, but can you touch the software? Can you show me where is Android in the mobile? It is not physically present. It is there, it is working. That is called software. Similarly, the mind intelligence ego is software and there is hardware. And within them, there is Atma, it is called soul. 
Sat Chit Ananda, eternity knowledge and this Sat Chit Ananda, that is soul. I am in this body, soul is in this body, driving this body. That's why the car is driven by the driver. Without the driver, the car is useless. Similarly, without the soul, the body is dead. So, Atma is the driver of this body. Atma gives power to this body to function. Atma speaks through the mouth. Atma hears through the ears. Atma sees through the eyes. Atma feels through the touch, skin. So, Atma is only doing through this instrument. So, the body is an instrument. And the Atma eats through the mouth, through the teeth, with the chewing. So, this is how we have got the connection between soul, Sukshma Sharira and Thula Sharira. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So, the eyes, nose, tongue, ears and skin are connected to the mind. And mind is connected to the intelligence. Whenever you see something or hear something, the mind processes it as good or bad. Based on its past experiences. Suppose if I said, Gulab Jamun, what are the feelings in your mind? Tasty, sweet, I like it, I want it, because of past experience. As soon as I say Karela Sapi, people don't like it because it's bitter. So based on past experience, mind processes it. And intelligence says whether I want it or don't want it. So that's how these three are functioning. Senses, mind and the intelligence. It's a very beautiful example to understand. So the five senses are compared to these five horses. You see here? Five horses are there. And the ropes are the mind. And intelligence is the driver. And soul is sitting there, is the Atma. So the horses should be controlled by the mind. And the intelligence should be strong enough to pull the mind. And soul, the driver, so the passenger should know his destination. Eli hope we so only when all are in line, you can reach the destination. Imagine the mind is weak and the horses are going here and there. Suppose you are going from here to Kedar Sapat. And on the way, there is some sabji market. And one horse here is looking at carrot. Another is looking at cabbage. And both horses run in a different direction. Can we reach the destination? Similarly, our senses, our senses in our body, are like this uncontrolled horses. Yes. And generally our senses get attracted to negative things very easily. Negative things like watching uh, dirty scenes or smoking, drinking. We can form bad habits very easily, but good habits are difficult to form. So how to form good habits? By having a strong mind and strong intelligence. Strong mind means what? Even if tempted, we should say no. If some friend says, Chalo, cigarette. Very cool. No, I have not taken cigarette till now. I don't want it. No, no, just try once. Once you try. My parents have told no. I said, once you try. Once you try, and then you keep trying whole life. That's how habits are like cozy bed. Very easy to get in, but difficult to come out, especially in winter season. <laughs> very easy to go and sleep in the soft bed, but difficult to come out. Similarly, habits also very easy to get in, difficult to come out. I have visited one of the drug addiction centers and I was surprised to see most of the patients in the drug rehabilitation center were youths of your age, between 20 to 30. About 50 of them were there. Somebody is addicted to drugs, somebody is addicted to alcohol, smoking, nicotine. And the young, intelligent, software engineers in Bangalore. They are all there. And we did a nice program for them. They liked it. So, please don't get into bad habits. And if you have, please make a plan to overcome them by strengthening your mind and intelligence. And how to strengthen the mind? By meditation. By meditation, you can control the mind. And by reading books like Bhagavad Gita, you can strengthen your intelligence. Because you know what to do, what not to do. Gita says us. Even all holy books tell us what to do, what not to do. So strengthen the mind and intelligence. This is a dashboard of the aeroplane. 
by seeing at the dashboard, he can know the health of the aeroplane. Similarly, this is our dashboard of our life. There are four aspects to our life. Spiritual, physical, mental, emotional. Physical, physical means diet, sleep, exercise. Mental, reading, writing, planning and visualizing. Social, intrinsic security, empathy, service, synergy. And spiritual is your sadhana, swadhyaya and contemplation. Each of these things can be elaborated. But I will just briefly speak about some of the things. And physical means becoming a good animal. It will make you body healthy fit. You can overcome physical stress by following this. If you have good mental and intellectual capacities, you can be a good craftsman, you can be very successful in your career. And if you become emotionally and socially good, strong, you can become a good friend. You will have people whom you can help and they help you. So you will get good friends. And if you have good spiritual practice, you will become a good saint. And all these four has to be balanced. We cannot ignore any of this. All four has to be balanced and we have to give sufficient time which they deserve. Like one hour for eating, six hours for sleeping, twenty minutes exercise every day, and some miscellaneous like washing clothes or cleaning your room, like that. And good corruption, like you are in the college for about eight to ten hours. So study nicely. And I heard that this COVID period was a time waster because hardly anything could be learned in these two years. So that's why some of the teachers are telling that you have to put extra endeavor now to study and practice uh, the theory things, theory aspect. So we have to utilize our time properly. And good friend, when you are with friends, try to help them, try to selflessly become friend of others, not expecting something from them, but trying to become a genuine friend of others. And spend some two time, two hours like that. And some about one hour or two hours for spiritual activities like uh, meditation, chanting mantras, like today was a wonderful singing, you can sing bhajans and then you can also do meditation, reading, contemplation, contemplation also wonderful thing, you read some book, spiritual book and you contemplate on how to apply it or on YouTube many spiritual lectures are also available, you can hear them, right? So, okay. So Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Yukta Hara Vihara Se Yukta Chesta Se Karmasu, Yukta Supna Bodha Se Yoga Bhavati Dukha. If you are regulated in the habits of eating, sleeping, recreation and work, it can mitigate all material pains by practicing the yoga system. So Krishna says that regulation is vital. If you work too hard, you will break down. If you do no work, you cannot achieve anything. So optimal work, optimum spirituality, optimal eating, optimal sleeping will keep you fit. It can regulate your stress, it can manage your stress. Like three components of stay healthy, diet, exercise and relaxation. Eat sattvic food, don't eat rajasic or tamasic food. Sattvic food means like avoiding too much starchy, too much oily, foods. So that is Radhasi actually. But eating milk products, seasonal fruits, sprouts, especially moong dal kind of thing, it's healthy for the body. It's sattvic. No junk food. Junk food harms your body. And don't over eat. Fill stomach 50% food, 25% for water, 25% for air. Like in a mixer grinder, do you full? Put full? No. Keep some air gap so that rotation can happen. There are some people who stop it so much that there is no place for <laughs> digestion. So in this shloka, 8, 9, 10, if you have Bhagavad Gita, you can refer to this three later on. Krishna says that eat sattvic food which helps you <coughs> increase the duration of life, purify your own existence, strength, health, happiness and satisfaction. This is sattvic food. And what are those food? Food which are juicy, fatty, wholesome and pleasing to the heart. These things should be eaten. And what should not be eaten? The mode of passion. Too spicy, too bitter, too sour, too salty, too hot, too pungent, dry and burning. Like some foods are there which 
cause burning when you eat. Okay, too salty, too hot, excessively too hot, steaming hot. No, one cannot. So that will harm your body. That's passionate. And food in mode of ignorance. Food that is prepared for more than three hours before being eaten. Food that is tasteless, decomposed, putrid. And food consisting of remnants, like eating from others' plate, others' food. And untouchable things is dear to those in the mode of darkness. This should be avoided. So you can do regular exercise. I'll just okay, we're coming to the solution part. Just five more minutes, then we can take some question answers. So exercise, when you do, you sweat. By sweating, what happens? Toxins come out. Especially in places where it's cold, people don't sweat. Toxins remain, and it spoils the health. And that can also lead to stress. Six to seven hours of sleep is good enough for people of your age, and that should be night sleep, not day sleep. Three It is said that sleep between nine p.m. to twelve p.m. is equal to six hours of sleep. If you sleep between 12 to 3 a.m., it's equal to three hours of sleep, and after three, up to six, it's equal to half the amount, one and a half hours. And after six, you may sleep, but body doesn't get rest. I have another file, word file, which says that at what point in the night, which organ is resting and is detoxifying? The liver, pancreas, lungs. And even the bladder and the intestines, everything has a time for detoxifying itself. And if it is not resting at the time, that part is under stress. And if it's pro it pro prolongs for a long period of time, for many years, you'll get disease of that body, body part. Getting? So what is this quote here? Early to bed, early to rise. Makes man. Healthy, healthy and wise. Everybody knows. <laughs> but difficult to practice. So you have to make a resolution. Like I have the habit of getting up every day at 4 o'clock. I sleep by 9.30-10, get up at 4 o'clock. I have been following this in the last 15 years. And very healthy lifestyle. So by this, you can get good health also. And chanting and prayer is also another way of uh, removing stress from your mind. Right? So, Sanskrit meaning of the word mantra, manaha trayate, that which delivers the mind from tension. Manas trayate iti mantra. Manasininda, no one, atava, stress and dura marude mantra. You should chant mantras. Like your, I personally chant this mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare. Chant with these mantras, you can get a lot of peace and happiness. And people who are of other religion, you can chant your God's name, you can chant Allah's name, you can chant Christ's name. That will help you to uh, overcome distress. Because you get the energy of God, you can get direct contact with God. And nowadays we have mobile phones. You dial a number, you can talk to your friend. How to dial God? By His name. And you chant His name, you are dialing God. So, Actually, benefits of mantra meditation, freedom from negative emotions, eliminates distractions, focus in life, and grants peace, satisfaction, and happiness. Okay? So, these are some of the points which I wanted to share today with all of you. Basically, we began by telling uh, what is stress, what are the different symptoms of stress, different items which cause stress. Then we said that stress is like a pressure cooker. It has to be managed. If it is not managed properly, it will last. And how to manage stress? We saw that we should have self-awareness of our own body. Okay? Physical body, mental body, and spiritual body. And for mental body, we have to do meditation. For physical body, we have to do exercise, good health, good regulated lifestyle. And on spiritual platform, we should try to do meditation and connect ourselves to God because God is the most positive person. When you connect to him, you get all his energy into his grace to you. So that will help you to overcome all these negative problems. Okay?
So this slide I will not take today. Uh, this contains 12 points, some of which I have already covered in the session. 12 points towards stress. Maybe if possible, we will send this in a uh, group. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so our volunteers have arranged some feedback form. I think they are kept at the end. So you can um, give feedback so that they can organize the program. Uh, how you like this program and what you want to do in the future. So you can give them feedback. And we also have a center in your Anand Circle. Evening also we are having programs. So if you wish to join, you can join there. We will have some nice talks and then. Difference in the Hare Krishna.